Today, me and my buddy Bundy are reviewing this uh, five-piece double flex joint box wrench set uh, from Matco, part number SRDFXLM52TA. Uh, this is a pretty costly little set, um, but I found it worth the money. So we're just gonna review these, maybe compare them to something similar, but not the same. Matco is the only place I found these available and uh, I love them. So here you go. So I found that uh, working on transverse motors, uh, I find myself up against a um, wheel well or some kind of body or frame a lot, doing timing covers, timing belts, doing anything on the front of the motor. Um, and so I find these super useful there. Also in tight places up against firewalls where I can get them. Um, first, I'm gonna start out with the negative about them. Sometimes I do find that they are a little too long to be able to get a good stroke on a bolt. Um, today I was working on a Buick LaCrosse. It was like a 2012 Buick LaCrosse and I was trying to get to the back of the block um, and in between the exhaust, I just didn't have enough room to uh, get my wrench in there to get a full stroke. So, but the that's the only negative that I find with these. Uh, where I find that I can use them, it much outweighs the negative parts. So here we see, you see that they flex obviously they have a double joint opposed to the typical like mountain or even matco snap on they all have the the single joint ones that um, much like this uh this cheap harbor freight ratchet um has a single i'm sure if you've seen these you've all seen these uh the single flex wrenches um they're just like this but if you look at the difference in actual access to a bolt from this to this see i can wrap completely around a surface and get a bolt on the inside here i can also take it and i like to use it like this where i'm using it in a tall spot do that a lot a lot with the 10 millimeters um, that don't take a lot of torque. It does have a little bit of a pull, more of a pull. But they also have, they also are splined for torques and um, they will rounded. fit rounded and metric and standard both. Um, they are metric. If you look, they go from 8, it's what, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 13. 16, 18, and 17, 19. Um, but I found these to be exceptional. Um, this is another example of a, a standard length gear wrench with a flex head. Now these are, I love these. I have a set of these and um, I use them a lot for short jobs. But when, when I am in a tight space and I need a lot of leverage, and uh, just need to be able to get around something. Say, I gotta get over here in between something. I can easily squeeze in there and got that leverage with this bolt right here. Say, I wanna, and they are um, a fine tooth. So I don't think that, I forget how many teeth count they are. I'll post that later, um, put that in the details. But yeah, these, these are great wrenches. Um, they are costly. Um, my buddy John flinches every time I tell him how much I paid for them. They're about 500 bucks for the set. But um, I think I've made my money off of them time and time again. So Dennis, I'm reading here on the website, it covers 6.12 point spline torques square and even up to 50% rounded off fasteners. Have you come into any of those situations yet? Uh, yes, I've used them on Torx. I've used them on six point and 12 point bolts, um, head bolts and stuff like that. 
Um, they work great, no problems. The only problem I have found, I, that I found with um, a couple of the Matco um, universal spline setups like this, um, sometimes a couple of the sizes, um, sometimes they'll get stuck. Like I found um, using my 14 to do a, do a belt tensioner, you know, when you get that belt, get that belt loose and then trying to get the, the actual wrench off of the nut. Eh, I've had a few of those instances where I had to pry it off with a pry bar or something. But um, other than that. Would you recommend it to a friend? I would recommend these to every friend I have <laughs> that actually works for a living. And even I thought you just sat around cleaning your tools all day, Dennis. No. Nah, don't let me launch your channel. As you can tell, I I don't clean my tools much, and these these bad boys get some use. They're not nice and shiny and and perfect. They're beat up, and that's because uh, unfortunately I do have to work. For have a you little. arced them out on a battery yet? No, no. Fortunately, I I try to watch out on that, but. Yeah, so uh, like John said, I'm gonna be launching uh, my YouTube channel here soon. Um, so what it's, it's called, gonna man? be called Just Nuts. It's Just Nuts and Bolts because bottom line, guys, working on cars. That's what it is. I mean, you you can't be just any idiot off the street and fix a car, but uh, I can take just about any idiot off the street and have them turn a wrench and uh, not. And you know what? Once I was just an idiot off the street and I learned the trade and now I'm making good money doing it. So. Oh boy. Now look at this. Let's see what size is that? That's uh, probably 19 right there. Look at that. Now, let's say if I'm coming at it from this angle. go that way go this way is going to be off see that see the torque I can get on that 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 bolts pretty tight there guys pretty nice flip it back around I can come at it from any angle Tighten that sucker back up. Oh, it's spinning, John. It's spinning. See this guy right here? I think this is too big. Yeah. No, look at that one. That little guy down there. See? It looks like that's Wait, off. Take it off again. So we're going to go ahead and look how I can wrap around the corner. <laughs> that's pretty cool. How often you find yourself in such a tight spot and I like these because I can bend them in such ways that I can get into some really tight spaces. Tighten that sucker up, you know? I get Just spin it on the back side? Uh, it's a nut on the other side. No, it's actually tightening up. Great fit and finish. Love these wrenches. I use them every day. I use Primarily, now that I'm working at GM and working at a Cadillac store, I, uh, I use my 10 and 8, well, 10 mostly, and then my 15 and 13. I use these all the time. I use them for oil changes. I use them for pulling cars apart. I use them for everything. So that those suckers are great. You know, the next next one I use quite often is the, the 12, 14. That's when I'm working on Asian cars. Not a whole lot of 12s and 14s on GM cars, but you find one every once in a while. But yeah, great set of wrenches. Love them. Recommend them to everybody. Go out there and buy them for 2017. If you guys are interested in these, and you guys are in the Riverside area, go ahead and shoot me an email at bundysgarage at gmail.com. I can get you the, the contact name and information for the Matco dealer here in the area. Or if I mean if you're if you're working in a shop, you got a Matco dealer coming in. 
Um, just give them the phone number. Yeah, they don't always carry them in stock, but they'll know what you're talking about, and uh, they can order them for you on the truck. Um, if anybody's on the fence about them, jump that's off, my problem, man, dude. I'm, all, I'm always on the fence. D you won't regret it. I mean, they, these these I'm I'm a tightwad when it comes to buying tools. I only buy what I absolutely need. And if I can get it for cheaper somewhere, I will. I buy a lot of tools online. Um, I searched and searched and searched. Every tool truck I talk to, Matco is the only one that I know of that makes these wrenches. And they are worth the worth the 500 bucks, man. I don't say that about a lot of uh, a lot of things, but these, to me, my friend, have uh, have earned earned their place in my toolbox. Your seal, your seal of approval? My seal of approval. So when you were searching for these, if you'd found a YouTube video about them, what would you have wanted to know specifically? Just, yeah, you know go what? For it, thumbs up? Yeah, probably. I mean, I think, I I probably never would have looked for these. I, I worked with a guy that had a set and I used them and used them and used them. And he was great to, to be free with letting me use them freely. And um, when I when I left that shop, <clears throat> I missed them. I missed them so much. I missed them five hundred dollars that <laughs> that much. I, I I mean it was only a month or two after I left that shop that I bought my own set because I use them every day. They're great. Love them. Did you go home and dream about them? <clears throat> no. <laughs> I leave work at work. Except for when I'm with Bundy, and I take it home with me. <laughs> Stay away from Arbor Freight. <laughs> if you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns. If you need that Mac hose number in Riverside area, shoot me an email at bundysgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you. <laughs>